Thanks for being with us on TCM for our 31 days of Oscar. I'm Alicia Malone. And after watching Dorothy McGuire in Friendly Persuasion, we now have McGuire in a film where the subject matter remains, unfortunately, very timely. With Anne Revere and Gregory Peck, it's Gentleman's Agreement from 1947, directed by Ilya Kazan. Peck stars as journalist Phil Green, a widower who moves to New York with his young son and mother, played by Revere. His new editor assigns him to write a series on anti-Semitism, suggested by his niece Kathy, played by Dorothy McGuire. Green struggles to find his own angle on the subject until he decides to pretend to be Jewish for six months to observe what injustices come his way. Celeste Holm also stars as a fashion editor, and John Garfield, real name Jacob Julius Garfinkel, plays Green's Jewish friend. In a role Garfield said he didn't have to act, he just felt. The story is adapted from a novel of the same name by Laura Z. Hobson, who wrote her book after reading about a congressman from Mississippi who called Walter Winchell an anti-Semitic slur in front of the House of Representatives, and nobody did a thing. 20th Century Fox studio head Daryl F. Zanuck believed in Hobson's book and could see the importance of telling this story despite the fact that he wasn't Jewish and he stood firm in the face of pressure not to make it due to fears the subject might stir up trouble. Here, the winner of three Academy Awards for Best Picture, Best Director for Ilya Kazan and Best Supporting Actress for Celeste Holm with a further five nominations, including one for Anne Revere. Let's watch Gentleman's Agreement. Gentleman's Agreement was one of the many successful socially conscious movies that Hollywood made in the wake of World War II. Critics praised how it took aim at people who believed they were standing up against intolerance but in actuality weren't doing anything about it. Though reviewers did point out the irony of focusing on a character who only had to deal with anti-Semitism for a very short time. And in reflecting on the film, director Ilya Kazan agreed with that sentiment, saying that while Gentleman's Agreement was notable for being one of the first times the word Jew was uttered on screen, it should have focused on a Jewish man. But he was proud of the scene between Dorothy McGuire and John Garfield, where Kathy tells Dave about a man who told an anti-Semitic story, and Dave asks her, and what did you do about it? Okay, don't you move, because next on TCM, Anne Revere stars as another mother, this time to a horse-obsessed girl, played by Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> 